Hey everybody, this is Evan Rogers coming at you with the online live lessons. We're starting the sixth lesson. However, this is video number 40, whatever the heck it is. And uh, you can join in too. We got Kayla and John here. They've been with us, with me from the beginning. And uh, I re just realized I'm not sharing my screen, so I should probably do that. They've been with me from the beginning of doing these. Uh, and you can join in too. Five bucks a month over on Patreon. If you're confused, follow me on uh, any of the information down at the bottom. And what do we call it? The, uh, the, the, the info box on YouTube. Share, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we're about to get ready. I just asked you this off the recording, but are you guys good to go? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're like, yeah, quit asking that. Uh, this is lesson six. We are finally ending sentences and E adjectives. Uh, there is no need for a fancy language section in the beginning of this lesson because there's nothing really new being taught uh, linguistically or weird vocab related. Uh, like, you know, past tense, what is an adjective? What's a subject? And all that sort of crazy stuff. Uh, we're just doing e-adjectives. Can you guys list the other f the other, or all the, the four major word types in Japanese? Can anybody get them all? Oh. Nah. Not adjectives. Ga. <laughs> no. Naga, papuchiti. No. Uh, Ga is a particle, but we're, we're, that's not really a I word, so. Is it, ma is it mas? Well, what, what kind of word ends in mas? Tabemas, ikimas, nomimas, skaimas. Verbs. Yeah, those are verbs. Yeah, so not adjectives, verbs, and we're looking at e adjectives here. What's the other big one? Nouns. Exactly. Yeah, nouns. Exactly. So nouns, <laughs> verbs, e adjectives, and not adjectives, right? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, it, it's not a trick question. Don't worry, I'm not trying to trick you. I just I want to make sure that we have the understanding. That there's four big ones. Okay. I thought you were looking for like. You know, like things like nah. I didn't know you were looking for nouns, verbs. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, word types. I don't know word families, uh, parts of speech. Well, parts of speech is more vague. That includes like the particles and everything. So I'm just looking for those big, those those big four groups of types of words because those are the meat and potatoes of Japanese. Understanding that there's four groups and they're all a little bit different. And then learning what those differences are. That's going to be the meat and potatoes. And we're finally on the fourth one, the e adjectives. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this lesson, we're going to do E adjectives, and believe it or not, you make E adjectives past tense. So, for example, um, Moshe's got kind of, uh, it must be the next one. Yes, exactly. So, we have, you know, we're not going to read it, but it says, what did you buy? Pancakes. Are they good or were they good? It could easily be were they good. Yes, they were good. Um, and notice... We have the deska ending for are they good or were they good? Yeah. And then notice how the actual word oishi, which we haven't learned yet, this is the e adjective, and it you're going to see it actually change. So if we go up here, we'll see. Sorry, I probably should have showed you what the word looks like normally because I'm a bozo. I'm a teacher. Um, where's a good example? So anyway, e adjectives, they all end in e. Warui, toui, atsui, mijikai, ouki. But this one ends in kata, where are we were down here, kata. And we actually turn adjectives into past tense. It's it's a, it's a, it's a foreign concept to us English speakers. Imagine if you you made delicious past tense by not adding the word was. You just said delicious d or something like that. You add an ED to delicious, and that's what's going on. Mm. All right. Okay. That's something that we're going to have to deal with. Um, let's see. Juan Gal be used in slightly interesting ways. Some of the adjectives have some interesting usages. We're learning a lot of new nouns, like train station and the four seasons, not the hotel. And a few other things that we... I, I, we had to learn nouns so that we could actually describe some of the nouns. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is a big vocab lesson. So if you look here, it doesn't look like there's that many vocab, but that's because that's just the nouns. We also have a crud ton of e-adjectives and a little phrase down here, dozo. 
All right, let's go over oh. them. Please repeat after me. Uchi. 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 This is house or home. I would like to translate it a bit more as home. It could also mean in group, but that's a concept that we'll have to wait on, uh, until later. And then we also have ie. Yeah. Yeah. Notice how this is not e yet. Mm-hmm. This is yeah. yeah, which is a house or a home. This is more along the lines of a house, but it could also mean home. So we have two words that mean basically the same thing. A pato. A pato. An apartment. Eki. Eki. Train station. Train stations in Japan are a very big deal. Um, you kids in school, especially high school students, they ride their bikes to the train station, and if they have enough money, they can go basically anywhere they want to in Japan, and they can, you know party you know kids go down to tokyo party for a while and then come back home stuff like that um all right so train stations are a big deal and at the train stations um the train stations like have malls develop right around them so as soon as you get off the train you can go shopping you don't actually you don't even actually have to go see the city all of the shopping centers are usually very close to the train station all the big ones all right next one kuruma 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 this is a car. Uh, there's other words for car as well, but this is this is one. It's a kuruma. <laughs> Here we have densha. 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 This is an electric train. Basically, this is the major only operating train in Japan or the densha's anymore, but there's other types of trains. Notice really quickly car, the kanji for car here, kuruma, is the same kanji that's in the, the sha of densha because it's like a, an electric car. It's kind of what that means. Uh, now that there are actually electric cars, I'm they probably regret using this kanji for trains. Anyway. <laughs> tenki. 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 This is weather. Whether or not you want to learn the words, you better learn them. Ha 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 ha. Alright. Haru. 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 How are you? Haru. Haru. <laughs> spring, as in not the thing you jump on, but the season. Natsu. 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 Summer. Cool. Aki. 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 Fall or autumn. <laughs> Fuyu. 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 The Fs aren't so hard. Fuyu. 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 And that's winter. Um, I think every single one of these, except maybe Fuyu, is less common. If you just add ko to the end, it's a girl's name. Haruko, Natsuko, Akiko. I'm not sure if I've ever heard of Fuyuko, but I, there's probably gonna be like 9,000 people that suddenly watch my videos and demand that I acknowledge them. All right, you'll never guess what this word means. America. Yeah! America! <laughs> America! Beep! Yeah! I was gonna do it. Didn't want to yeah. come I made, again. <laughs> I made the mistake of uh, like when I, we were learning about America because I, I tutor Japanese people and having pride in your country is apparently a very American thing. Like everybody's like, why are there flags everywhere? And I'm like, because America is awesome. Like, what what is the issue? They're like, we don't do that in Japan. I'm like, that's right. No one like waves a flag in Japan. Being an American is very strange because we're so patriotic about our country. Even the people who hate it, if they went to another country, they'd be like, this is weird. There's like not French flags everywhere. And uh, so we were talking about America and I love America. Like American history is beautiful. If you just read the like reading the Declaration of Independence is fun to me. It's beautiful. There's so much history in there. So I always start singing that song to my students when we learn cool stuff about America and I made the mistake of showing the video to one of them. And uh, I, I forgot that there are mannequins doing horrible things in that video. Uh, <laughs> All right. Yeah. Anyway, the name of the, of, the, of the language that you're learning, the country that it comes from is Nihon. 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 <laughs> Nihon. Uh, <laughs> uh, Nihon also is called Nippon uh, with a small two po. Nippon. I didn't add it here because it's a little bit less uh, common. Nippon is um, a much more patriotic, old school way of saying Japan. What are we laughing at? <laughs> I saw just 
like jumped on John's, you know, <laughs> lap. <laughs> I'm, I'm be down for me. <laughs> <laughs> the joys of fatherhood. <laughs> <laughs> for those out here oh sorry what's that he's, okay, he's, 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 okay. he's groaning in agony for those out there who are unsure of what the name Japan means um, Nihon it comes from China China called themselves the uh, the, the middle country they were the Chu Goku the country in the middle and also it was called the, 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 the land of the setting sun So because it's in the west so the sun would set there Japan wanted to sound cool, so they made theirs the origin of the sun because they're to the east of China. And so this is actually the kanji for book, but uh, the, the kanji for book here, the hon part, that actually means source. So the source of the sun. The first one's oh. sun, the second one's source. The reason I why... Wonder- yeah. The reason why we call it Japan is because uh, the first people to hear that Japan existed, I believe was, I think it was Marco Polo. I might be a little bit off there, but it was like that long ago. And they learned it from, it was either Mongols or Chinese. I I forget exactly what was going on in that region at the time, but uh, I think Marco Polo basically got kidnapped by like Genghis Khan or something like that. And then instead of killing him, they were like, yeah, we could probably use you, you know, a bunch of stuff. And they called Japan, uh, Japon, Japon or something like that. I don't know exactly the pronunciation. And that got uh that that word came to Europe. That's the word that uh got you know, so it's close to Nippon, but then the Nippon kind of slurred into Japan's for somehow. That's the origin of that's why the that's why they're completely different. There's actually a connection, but it's a very strange connection. All right, anyway, anyway, the first European to get to Japan was like four uh no. Like early 1500s, I think it was. Uh, anyway, yeah. So that's just a brief history lesson. Russia. 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 That is Russia. Vladimir Putin oh. rides bears in Russia. Do you actually speak Russian? No, I took six years of it, but I don't remember any of it. Did you ever hear that dude, uh, The Machine? He does a comedy bit about being The Machine. <laughs> About the machine, yeah. That is brilliant, yeah. Uh, Russia. Uh, probably a cool place to visit, but I don't think I want to live there. All right, no. we, we can immediately add 50 new vocabulary words. You just add shoe to the end of something that sounds like the name, the state that you want to talk about. Shoe. 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 Yeah, and that means state. We li- you, uh, you guys live in the same state as I do. We live in Ohio shoe. Oh, I yo shoot. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, state. Yeah, it's very similar. It's Ohio, Ohio, as opposed to Ohio. Um, however, they. I I remember when I went to when we were in Japan. I went in to like buy something at a hobby off, and the guy behind the counter asked me where I was from, and I said Ohio, and he's like Ohio because I Ohio because I was. He's like, oh, this guy he doesn't know any Japanese. <laughs> And then I was like, and I was like, no, America. And he's like, oh, okay. Did you ask him who's on first? What? <laughs> That's not. Where, where are you from? I'm from Ohio. Oh, Ohio. Gozaimasu. No, no, no. Ohio. 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 No, who, so that's the who's on first joke, but with Ohio. Who's on first? No, that's his name. Who? What, All right. What's his name? On second? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I, I was confused, so. though, because it's like 1 p.m. So for a second there, I'm like, what? <laughs> so, uh, uh, shu also can mean weak but notice the kanji difference shu is state um okay great oh and japanese people when they come to america they're very confused that um something can be illegal in america but be legal in a state so they're always fascinated by america's crazy law system uh mm. many people will accidentally say that a state is very similar to the next vocabulary word a ken ken yeah Yeah, i always thought of that um yeah exactly a ken is a prefecture so they call them prefectures i don't really know what a prefecture is in any other context other than this ken idea um these are in my opinion much more like counties like japan's basically california and this is basically a county because the the laws that exist in one one ken 
are very similar to the laws that exist in a different Ken. Um, like, uh, you know, if you go to California, or it used to be if you went to California, you could smoke marijuana and like, but it was still illegal anywhere else. And now those are all changing. And like, you know, gun laws are different in every single state. So that's that's not the way it is in, in, Jap- in Japan. Well, we, we have reciprocity with everyone touching us for the most part. So. Touching us? Yeah, all the states surrounding us. Oh, I, thought, I thought you meant like we have. I was like, what the heck is he talking about? When people touch us, we have to reciprocate. What is this guy talking about? You're talking about gum. So. Yeah, right, 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 right. Uh, anyway, anyway, Kaze. Except for Illinois. Go to Illinois with Kaze. Kaze. And that is wind. Wind. Uh, and then last but not least for nouns, Kare Raisu. Kare Raisu. <laughs> There's no n at the end. Kare raisu. Kare raisu. Yeah, good. This is curry and rice. You guys have been to Japan, right? Yep. Yeah. Did you ever sit down at a curry rice place and just enjoy your food? I did. Okay. Uh, usually they're pretty good, and even if you make it homemade, you can buy the stuff at like local Japanese restaurant or uh, you know, stores, and add some white rice. It's pretty good. I, it, I'm just not a fan of curry, so. Okay. Their their curry is very not indian so if you ever if you like don't like indian curry there's still a chance you're gonna like the curry rice stuff it's like a sweeter thicker different oh yeah i, I tried it I, I wasn't a fan oh that's fine that's fine yeah yeah yeah. all right uh we are now getting into the e adjectives they are called e adjectives because look at this e e e e every the last what what do you call that last sound in each one of these is an e okay great here we go Takai. 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 For, uh, unfortunately for us, uh, it means three things. Expensive or high or tall in certain situations. Next one. Yasui. 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 This is cheap. However, the word cheap in English can also mean like crappy. So inexpensive might be a, like Yasui would be a good thing. Like if we said, oh, that's cheap. That can mean a good thing, but it could also mean like it's going to break in a day. Okay, next. Yeah. Oishi. 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 Tasty, delicious, um, good taste. It literally means b- beautiful flavor. Or at least according to the kanji. The kanjis mean beautiful flavor. Mazui. 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 This is not tasty. I, it's weird making a flashcard for this because we do not have a translation. We just say not tasty. Like, what, what's the negative of Delicious. Or what's the opposite of delicious? Barf. <laughs> okay, disgusting. I was about to say barftastic, but yeah, disgusting would be better. <laughs> okay. I hope I went too far. I like barftastic, actually. <laughs> okay, next we have E. 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 Uh, e is um, a slurring of the word yoi. Yoi, which also still exists in Japanese, but it's much more commonly e, so I just have it in here. I probably should add yoi, um, but I'll, I'll, I'll try to figure out what I want to do with yoi. All right, uh, that means good, fine, or nice, something like that. Warui. 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 And this is not good. It's bad. It is evil. So, for all of those. Americans out there who are wondering why the heck there's like a Waru the Wa where's it Waru Luigi Waru Waruigi and there's the Wario yeah and they're evil this is the reason why because it's Warui Wario and then actually Waruigi makes more sense because it's literally Warui followed by G Waruigi uh so that this is where all those be- evil characters from mario come from the word warui not good bad evil all right next toy 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 far away distant uh this is one of the few words where the elongated vowel sound is an o so it's to o e there are very few of these that actually do that um toy usually it's a to u e but this is to o e uh, there's not really a difference in pronunciation, just it's be wary when you spell that. All right, next. Chikai. 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 This is near or close, you know, nearby, close by. 
Caray. 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 That is spicy. All right. A might. A might. A might. This causes problems because it means sweet, as in, like, you know, literally you're eating sugar <laughs> if you're crazy. But also it can mean not spicy. Like, if you have different types of curry, there's the karai one, and then there's the amai ones. So the amai ones probably do have some sugar in them, but really what it means is not spicy in some situations. So it has two meanings. Be careful. Uh, usually when it means not spicy, it's amaguchi, but uh, I'm not adding that here. All right, next one, nagai. 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 Long. Mijikai. Mijikai. Short. Um, this is strange. This kanji for nagai, for some reason, sometimes also means neck. So, like, the head of a company will be nag- this use this kanji. So, if you ever see a name ending in a something with this kanji, he's the head of something or she's the head of something. And also, like, some of the words for decapitation use that kanji. I don't know why neck and long got connected in the Japanese brain, but it did. Um, all right, next, Atsui. 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 Uh, when you're watching anime, you'll hear people go, Achi! And that's a slurring of Atsui, Achi, Achi. It just means hot. Uh, notice there's two kanjis. The first one with the two suns in the kanji is hot weather. And the one down here is for hot things that you touch. So notice that there's a difference between touching something and like the air. They have different kanjis for those types of things. Okay, next. Samui. 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 This is for cold weather, cold air. And then we have tsumitai. 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 Tsumitai is cold to the touch. So if you touch something that's cold, you don't say samui. They'll be like, ha, 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 stupid gaijin. You're supposed to say tsumitai. Hayai. 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 This can mean early. The kanji that looks like this is early. Then we have the same word over here, hayai. It can mean fast. Different kanji, different meaning. Hayai early, hayai fast. So the car is hayai or I woke up hayai. Next one, osoi. 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 Luckily for us, that means both slow and late. So same kanji, different meanings. I don't, yeah. Sometimes they do it, sometimes they don't. Omoshiroi. 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 One more time, John. Omoshiroi. Omoshiroi. Great. It sounded like he said omoishiroi or something like that. So uh, interesting, <laughs> fun, or funny to some extent. Omoshiroi. You go to the movie, that's an omoshiroi movie. Tsumaranai. 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 Boring board. All right. Um. Remember how we were learning with the na adjectives, we would make des, janai des? Mm-hmm. And the nai there was negative. Unfortunately for us, some words end in nai and they're positive. Like this is not not interesting. This means boring and you can make it negative and it ends in nai. So just be careful. It can be a little bit tricky to keep some of this stuff in your head. All right, last one. Dozo. 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 We already learned dozo, like when you're handing something to somebody else, but also it can mean like go ahead. Oh, dozo, dozo, dozo. Go ahead of me. Go ahead. Okay? Mm-hmm. The grammar we're going to learn is just E adjectives exist, and here's how you make them past tense, and we're going to compare them. There's not actually a lot grammatically happening in this lesson. We're just learning a new type of word. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right. I hope to see you guys on Monday. Is that correct? Yep. yep. Great. Uh, have yourselves a happy, happy weekend. Peace out. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you like, subscribe, and share this video to everybody you know and yell at them repeatedly until they subscribe as well. If you'd like to support me even more, head on over to patreon.com where for just $1 a month, three cents a day, that's it, it's darn near free, you can help me financially keep these videos coming. And as a reward for your Patreon donations, you get access to all of the miscellaneous things that I produce to help out my own students who I teach in person and also just things that I make for myself. And if you want a little bit more bang for your buck, 
head on over to Teespring, where you can get lots of fun clothing, mugs, stickers, cell phone cases, all that I've designed. More designs to come. I hope you have yourself a happy, happy day. Peace out.